A cult has three traits that it uses to control its members. Deception, dependence, and dread. Her name is Avra, Your Grace. <laughs> How old? Twelve. It is rare for a girl this age to not be married off. A dowry has been discussed. Do you know who I am, child? I serve the Ecclesiarchy. She is mute, Your Grace. She was struck ill. Same sickness that took her parents. Bless their souls. Shabin, we've orbited each other for many years. Since we were children, Your Grace. I've never been that impressed by you. You've always struck me as uh, self-serving. But this child, taking on a ward from the Skola Progenium, it is an impressive and selfless act. Perhaps I was wrong about you. Uh, thank you. That means a great deal. Your Grace, there are rumors that the Imperial Navy will be leaving orbit in a matter of days. Not rumors, truths. A foul Xeno's armada is nearing the subsector. The fleet is moving off world to mount a defense. Should we be concerned? No, Xenos are repellent, wicked creatures, but they are easily managed. We should be concerned with dealings here at home. Weak-willed souls. Weak-willed, Your Grace? Citizens will be tempted by the lure of the alien, enticed by false promises of peace, possessions, and liberties. Absurd. What could they want that the Faith doesn't give them? A better life, apparently. Their words. Shabin, you are a devout woman. I feel like I can trust you. I need an ally here to help keep the Faith. I need someone who can keep disbelievers in check with me. Me? We could be the twin heads of Aquila. Always watching, one forward, one back. Can you do that, Shabin? Will you join me? Hmm. You have my aid, Your Grace. The Emperor protects. The Emperor protects. We will suffer no aliens on this world, or anyone who would ally with them. I will die before I see that day. Hey, these aren't right. Marlene. Marlene. The engineer is calling you. Yeah, I heard him. Marlene. I am in need of your assistance. It will only be a moment. Ish, five minutes. I'll get started on the crates. There has been an impact. All right. Meteorite? No. Debris? Not quite. What then? It is Tau. I... What do you mean? Hold on. Ish, put that down. What? So five minutes. Just hold on a minute. If there is a survivor, they could use our help. Moo, if it landed in the wastes, the storms are going to wipe it out. Whoever or whatever fell down there, they're gone. If there's a single soul in need, we must... The greater good? Fine. How far? You going to let me take one of those hovers? The ion storms will be drawn to them. Uh, whoever is out there better be worth ten of us, Moo. Hey, Ish. Yes? Grab your kit. We're going hunting. We'll exit through the West Passage. 
grab a few things from the makeshift cabins in the canyon. As we uh, rise out of the valley into the wider plains, we'll see the storms and have a better idea of which way to move through the dunes. I'm ready. Good. Let's go. Is it Imperium or Coalition? Moo said Coalition. Might be good if they were human. Why would I want it to be human? You are alone. I'm not alone. I have you. Not the same. You need a mate. I don't need a mate. You have no bread. You want your genes to be passed on, no? I won't be having children anytime soon, Ish. Have you ever wanted a family? Marlene. Have you ever considered having a family? This faith is my family. Suppose that make me your younger sister. A billion trillion stars, and the Emperor's light touches every one. Know this, brothers and sisters. No matter where you are, you can look to the stars and know that the Emperor himself is shining down on you from holy terror. Watching you. Judging your purity. Keep your eyes open. We need to make sure people are focused for the trials ahead. Where would souls? Holy Emperor, cleanse the Xenos, the filth of the alien. May the witch be put to the flame, that their ashes may rain down upon us. Preserve our purity. There. Your grace? Let go of me! Wait, wait, what are you doing? No! Please! We were praying. We know the words. Please! I remember their faces. We would force them to recite the scriptures. Remind them that the faith is the only thing protecting them from alien influences. Let go of me! I remember beating them while recanting the prayers. <gasps> Please! Please! No. No. Your grace. We couldn't spare the rod. No. Please. Repeat after me. I will never treat with Xenos. I will never treat with Xenos. I will not suffer them to live. I will suffer them not to live. I pledge to kill any I find. I pledge to kill any I find. <laughs> In the Emperor's name, I pray. Amen. Over there, the crack. Go, go, hurry! Close. We'll stay here a bit. Time passes as we wait out the storm in a fissure. Clouds swirl in the skies overhead. Storms without rain. A buildup of electric pressure arcing across the sky. We lose a day as we move from chasm to chasm, careful to hide when the clouds begin to crackle. One, two, three. Are you, are you counting? Sound travels 340 meters per second. So? Multiply seconds you count by 340. You can measure distance. 
So three seconds is, what, one kilometer? Approximately. Hmm, that's pretty clever. One, two, three. Coming! I'm coming! Hold on! Your Grace. Shabin, what is it? It's the middle of the night. It happened. What happened? They've come. How long ago did they arrive? Not long. I was tutoring Afra when the guards alerted me that they were outside the gates. You'll need to double your ward's duties. Her faith will soon be tested. How many soldiers did they bring? None. What? They sent envoys. We arrived at the courtyard, and I remember the grisly tapestry there to greet us. <sighs> Shabin. They're emissaries. Water cast, they called themselves. I had to make a judgment call. I asked for the Emperor's guidance. I asked him what to do. He put you in my thoughts. I did what I thought would please you and commanded the guards. Hung from a tree in the center of the courtyard were twelve bodies, each dangling from their neck or wrists. For the first time in my life, I saw them in the flesh. After a lifetime of spewing hate, I struggled to even say the word. <gasps> Xenos. Yes. A crowd gathered to witness the execution. In the shadow of the cathedrals, I saw their frailty, their surprising mortality. They looked so small, not the otherworldly beasts I expected. They looked young and helpless. They sought to bargain. How did they slip past the fleet? Perhaps some kind of stealth technology. I looked at the envoys. I remember having a private thought, one that I would dare not share with anyone. Disgusting, aren't they? The word was sadness. Your grace? What did they ask for? Nothing. They asked for nothing. Human hands must never toil on alien soils. Never. The Emperor protects. The Emperor protects. Blue-skinned with hooves and red eyes. They should have been demons from a storybook. Instead, I saw a dozen horrified expressions. Pained. Sad and shocked, they never expected such cruelty. Can you fly up to that hill and take a look? One second. I'll try the helmet's rangefinder again. Hey! Hey, Ish! What is it? This way! There's wreckage over here! <sighs> it's happening faster now. Report says that eight more families tried to escape last night. This is the crisis you prepared us for! A crisis of faith! Why would they be fleeing, Shabin? What haven't we given them that they couldn't desire? The faith offers purpose, belonging. Shovin, what is it? 
your countenance is strange. Perhaps we need a more dramatic reminder of why they need us. What do you mean? Have you noticed that most of the deserters are parents? I have. They want somewhere to raise their children. They need to be reminded why they need us. Did you have something in mind? I do. Come and see. Beneath the cathedral, she led me to her great work. The largest display of suffering I had ever seen. What is this place? A place for men and women who must atone for their lack of zeal. All of these people? I ordered for them to be reprimanded. They were. Now they're helping resolve the crisis in a more meaningful and permanent way. Men and women adorned with optic neural connectors, chemical injectors implanted into their skulls and spines, pheromone drills up their nostrils, and piping curled beneath blankets and snaking into their thighs and intimates. I do not remember rebuking this many. <sighs> Your modesty is commendable. It is reasonable to struggle, to suffer, and even die for a society that justly proclaims itself the bulwark against the end times. But all too soon, thoughts turn to the self. The problem is greed, selfish things, legacy, joy. This, this is an antidote to temptation. I have manufactured despair, your grace, a burden for mankind that will keep them loyal. It's a venom? A virus. Contemplate. A world emptied of fertility. The aliens come and they bring a plague of sterilization on us. For without children, they will blame the Xenos for robbing them of their futures. Shabin, this is your ward. The path to the Golden Palace is narrow. We now hold all their futures in our hands. You plan to release this on the people? Shabin, this is heresy. It has to be undone. Release? I already did. The entire city was sanitized days ago. You once told me that I never impressed you. How about now? Are you not impressed? A cult has three traits that it uses to control its members. Deception, dependence, and dread. Maybe... In a few years, we can develop a way to reverse it. Or maybe the Emperor grants a virgin birth. Marlene? <coughs> you... Broke my nose. You broke my nose.
what have I done? No. No, I'm sorry. I, I, I've made a mistake. I have to go back. I have to go back. I kept running the moment over in my head, telling myself I've made a terrible mistake. What have I done? Why did I... No. No, I have to go back. But what they'll do to me... It was a mistake. A lapse in judgment. They didn't matter. None of them mattered. He is all that matters. His will. I build up the resolve to go back. To face the consequences. They'll forgive me. I have always been a just and loyal servant. I began to walk back, racked with doubt and despair. I couldn't feel his eyes. In that moment, a sign was given. A single bolt blocking my path to the city. God Emperor! Please! I'm sorry. I've been your loyal servant. I'm sorry. Take me back. Take me back! The dappled sky had turned gray. They wouldn't take me back. I knew it. I was a traitor. Wandering away, minutes became hours. Hours became days. I watched the air turn into a torrent of gray, arid dust. Clouds grew like specters, and I began to paint patterns from their shapes. The twin-headed Aquila. A boat. A face. A skull. My mortality staring down on me. I forfeited my life in a fleeting moment of conscience, my resolve shaken. I wished for the desert to take me. Days and days I walked, growing weaker, 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 weaker. Hello. You. I am Fiu We Velkan Sankwal. My namesake means life observer. It also means. Yeah! Wait! Zeno's filth! I'm not going to hurt. Die! Cease this! Oh, skinned swine! You appear weak. I'm. I'm not weak! Yeah. Cease. Yeah. Stop dodging me! Please. I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'm not... Weak! What have I done? Oh God! What have I done? This gesture, it is familiar to you? <laughs> what? Take my hand. Contact! It's a battle suit. Over in that crater. A battle suit? Life supports. Ten. Ten. Humans. It's a towel. A towel. Stars spray Tosh for M and Cobra. Say. I will carry its corpse. She's not dead. Not yet. We have to take her back. She's badly injured. She won't make it. Maybe. 
but this desert has a way of saving lost things. Gently. Gently. Where... Where am I? I am Theowi Velkan Sangwal. My namesake means life observer. We saw you fall from the sky. Where am I? You are at a coalition outpost. You were injured in the crash. I am... Shashvrita Shvar Mkova. What is your prime name, Mkova? I do not know you well enough. We did save your life. Mm. Irvi. Irvi. A curious namesake. Fluttershy. Unbreakable. I cannot see out of my right eye. It was badly damaged in the crash. The shrapnel of your battle suit wounded you gravely. You are Earthcast? Yes. I need to contact my Kaui in orbit. There was an attack. I need to join them. You crashed several days ago. If there was a battle, it is long over. Days? I am not watercast. My words will be far from soothing. Earthcast can be warm, but rough. I am sorry. Enter! Resign yourself to getting comfortable, Irvi. We will care for you. You are among friends. I should introduce you to your rescuers. May I introduce Ishkliklik of Hive Kanyuku and Marlene Osera Barkov. Her one good eye narrows and rises to meet my face. The nasal slit on her forehead flares. She witnesses my skin, my features, everything that makes me human. Scarlet flushes through her and her teeth bare, clenched and grinding with hate. <laughs> Wait! Murderer! Shameless! Stop! Assassin! She is Guevessa! Guevessa! What? Guevessa, human helper. Uh, she... She is part of the Tao? Excuse her, Marlene. She is of the fire cast. Her core burns bright. Uh, uh. It was an honor, Murphy. I have lost my cadre. I have lost everything. A Shashre without a Kaui. All because of you. Your. Kind. We will give you some time. Come. As we leave the room, I steal one look back at her. Her body rattles with an emotion born of loss. We're not so different. Not so different at all.
Hi there, Colin here. Thank you so much for listening to this production of On the Hunter's Watch, Part 2. If this is your first time tuning in, Cold Open Stories produces a wide range of content, including short stories, writing contests, and full cast audio dramas like the one you just heard. On our website, you'll find unofficial stories set in the universe of Warhammer 40,000, where you, the listener, can read, write, and perform. It's a great way to build community and share stories worth telling. Now, all levels of experience are welcomed, and these are fan productions, so whether you're a writer, an actor, or an unwitting cultist, check us out on coldopenstories.com or on social media for the latest release. On the Hunter's Watch was written and directed by Colin DeGraff, with cover art by Ornieres Terenzi. In this episode, you heard the voice talents of Melissa Medina, Stephanie Tobin, James Flynn, Nikesh Morali, Megan Humans, and Nicholas Wolf. Additional voices by Anne Hurd, Andreas Somville, Heike Preveter, Ornieres Terenzi, Yoshahide Lu, Brandon Wynn, and Tiffany Bong. Now before you go, please consider joining our network. Follow Cold Open Stories on socials or join the Discord chat over on coldopenstories.com. Without you, none of this is possible. So please, spread the signal. We look forward to hearing you again with our next story. <laughs>